Welcome to my Atari ST Nostalgia Trip and the next stop in my SEGA conversion summer tour is Afterburner, published by Activision in 1989. And the arcade was infamous for being very, very hard and eating up your coins like Fruit Loops. And this game is basically continuously high paced and very unrealistic dogfights in your fighter jet that the SEGA arcade machine could without doubt cope better with than any other system in existence that day. Um, and when I saw some screenshots, I felt this was going to be great at the time on my ST. Yet, I do not remember me playing this one for more than a few times and then never looking back at it. And I'm not sure why that was, so I guess I'm going to find out today. Um, it also means I'm a bit reluctant to dive back into this one blindly, because uh, again, uh, I, I test my games to see if they're working and then I'm just going into the gameplay without a lot of practice, because I think it's a, more, a lot more fun that way. But I'm also curious um, what this will do to me, so I guess we just have to start up the game. And I preloaded part of it, and in this time also I'm playing the hard drive version. Uh, these box renditions of this hard drive um, versions of the games, I really, really like them. Um, and I also do like how the game presents itself, like with high energy title music. And of course we have to press a key to continue. So we have the option screen with some more high energy music, but this time from the chip tune. And apparently this game um, was actually programmed by Argonaut Software, um, who also brought us the Star Glider uh, games. And I actually didn't know that until I loaded it up on my emulator <laughs> so many years later. But yeah, the way the game presents itself is, is actually really nice. And as you can see, the intro also tells us this is actually Afterburner 2. Um, which is not really a sequel, it's just Afterburner but with some extra levels and some tweaks to the controls. Um, that they published on the arcade and, and for the home systems, Afterburner 2 is the only one that got a conversion, so only the updated version. But I shouldn't be... Um, I shouldn't be watching at option screens, I should just go into the game and yeah, I will keep the music on, I will keep the sound effects on. I am going to control with my joystick because the controls in this game, um, I don't think they make any sense. They are not really like a fight yet. This is not a simulator, this is just a simple unrealistic dodge fight game. And I'm going to press fire to start the game, which on a hard drive version makes the sound go like this if you play it on an emulator, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I do like that it has music during the gameplay, and of course I don't really know... Um... Oh, be careful, 2 o'clock, okay. And I think it's continuously firing mach its machine gun, um... and I need to find some mix to shoot. There are some, some airplanes there. No. And I have... And I'm gonna be very honest. So can I shoot these guys or what? I am flying around and I have no idea what's going on. Maybe this one I should have practiced a bit, actually. And I, I, I think you can actually adjust your speed in this version, which in, the, in version 1 you could not do. Uh, but I have no idea how to do it and I don't want to be focusing on my speed just about... On my, I want to be focusing just on my machine gun and missiles and... okay. I just went to a new stage. I don't think I actually shot anyone. Which is a bit weird, but okay. But here are some, so I'm gonna fire... Yeah! It's just careful. And I'm re really honest, I still have no idea what's going on. I don't understand this game! Maybe that's why I didn't play it as a child, but yeah, I can see lots of targets now. I can see lots of explosions. I think I didn't die yet. What? Oh, I have to go left, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel like a very brave flyer, so I am, I am going full speed into battle. Enemy 9 o'clock, what? What? It said be careful, but for what? <laughs> Can anyone explain this game to me? I'm just 
going through bends and trying to... what? Okay, I shot some mix, I have no idea how. And, and to be fair, the play screen does feel a bit empty at times, uh, but that's probably to not kill the frame rate even more. Um, Okay, I wasn't even paying attention, I, I, I was apparently already starting a new level and... The enemy. And I just... <laughs> apparently I, sh I shot some enemies while I wasn't even doing anything. Because the machine gun of your ship, your fighters out of... Oh, okay. What, did I just die? And I know my gameplay is mostly very embarrassing. Oh, died again. I, I don't understand this game. What? It says be careful, but I shot a lot of guys, so... How do I get a lock on? What? Oh, like that, okay. What? I haven't even... I haven't figured out how to go up and down yet. What fighter jet moves like this? I, I really don't understand. What? The enemy, right, right. The enemy yeah, okay. It, I can't even hear what these samples are saying. But I see explosions in front of me. And that's all I care about. So who cares if I don't understand anything about this game? Because there's high energy music, there are very mediocre sound effects, but nice looking explosions, and I'm apparently killing a lot of people. Like how? What? Is that smoke one of my rockets or are they shooting at me? I have no idea. But I see enemy ships exploding, so who cares? I have absolutely no idea what's going on. What the hell is this game? I, I, I can't really imagine the arcade was as confusing as this. What? Oh, those chaps are flip. What? Careful, careful, careful. Okay. Be careful, nine o'clock. Uh, okay. If you say so. What? And then suddenly it's end of level and I'm in the next stage again. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Okay, just a bunch of guys who... They don't move their legs while they're walking and they are refilling my my plane with lots of rockets. Which I'm totally fine with. Okay, I will say this game is not great. It's mostly very confusing. At the same time it's actually a lot more enjoyable than I remember it to be. I mean I, I shouldn't set myself any goals or anything, because like, what? Because I would have no idea how to achieve them. <laughs> I guess this is just senseless, senseless firing of missiles and... Oh god, I can't... I can't wait for the comments on this video of people telling me I'm doing the gameplay all wrong and they are also wondering how on earth I was able to survive this long. And I'm gonna be honest guys, I have no idea. I mean, I'm probably not scoring that well. Because with Sega games you always have these millions and millions of points. And there are no more millions of points and... The enemy... The enemy what? How... how... Do I'm sorry, I know I sound very confused, and that is because I am confused. Because I'm in stage 7, and I still have no clue whatsoever. I have no clue whatsoever on how to play this game. I'm, I'm just... What? Oh. Okay. I was being a little bit too brave there. And I also don't know if this hard drive version actually made the game easier, or score you higher, or... 
give you much more extra lives. Oh, what? What? No! What's happening? How can I just... So I fly around without dying, without knowing what's going on, and suddenly I die like... I lose all my... all my fighter jets. I... I... I what? Oh, that was a Marcel coming for me. Okay. So I was trying to figure out if the game was actually made easier by the hard drive version, but especially in stage 7 it is not. <laughs> and suddenly I'm dead. I'm dead, but I scored over 4 million points. I scored over 4 million points by just waggling my joystick, pressing the fire button, having no idea what's going on. This, okay, what? Okay. ASNL, well, I guess it stands for Atari ST Nostalgia. Okay, this, this must be the most confusing experience I've ever had on this channel. I have no idea how I did this and, and I have no idea what I was doing, so I'm sorry if, if, if I couldn't also explain anything about the game because I just didn't understand. Um, but in summary, I am a bit surprised to be honest, because my memory of this game were very vague, except for not liking it at all, but this time I actually had a sort of a good time, despite the enormous confusion. I mean, it's not the greatest Sega conversion, and it's probably also not the greatest Sega arcade game, despite the moving cabinet and all that. It's, it's in the end, the gameplay is just a bit plain and bland, I guess, and, and mostly for me very confusing. Um, at the same time, I really like how the coders were able to get so much of the franticness uh, of this game into the ST conversion, and that, that's, I guess, pretty well done. Having said that, I will probably still not play this a lot, because I like enjoying myself, but I don't like being confused at the same time. And with that wisdom, I would like to thank you for watching.